Hello. Janine Palmer here, Spirit Silver Moon for Harmony Energy Healing and Divine Heretic Poetic Tales. I'm going to share some more poems from Volume 16 of Divine Heretic Arrows of Light from the first series of books. The first one is called Laws. There are laws that are certainly higher than any laws which men have made. Natural law and spiritual law, higher foundations previously laid. Rights which cannot be taken away, inalienable then and now. Your knowledge of your sovereignty is the power behind your plow. The free power of your spirit through the experiences of body and soul is an exercise in retaining or restoring all fragments of the whole. There are laws created here on earth which might try to hold you back, but fear and attachment are the very things it wouldn't hurt to lack. Okay, this one's called Antidote to the Rhetoric. Awakening to deeper truth with which we must make peace and avenues through forgiveness by what we willingly release. Finding space and purpose through choice as we create. Experience more valuable than doctrine. Time to unlock the gate. Spheres of understanding influence as it flows. Blessings rippling in and out. What divinity bestows. Antidotes to poisons, to falsehoods which mislead. Cleansing of contaminants so truth might yet be free. Okay, this next one's called The Miner's Light. There are those who dig for treasure. There are those who mine for spiritual gold. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to start that over. I think I messed up, I got distracted. So The Miner's Light. There are those who dig for treasure in various and sundry ways. There are those who mine for spiritual gold to light their way through the haze, to recapture the peace of the inner child and restore it to the now, to know when to rest or to create, when to smile and when to bow, to mine for the gold within ourselves, to excavate truth so wise, not something adopted from the external, to reveal what is naked beneath false disguise, to bring forth the peace of memories and apply it to our present state, or to choose peace in the now through so many doorways, paths, and gates to celebrate the miner who digs through wisdom and faith, who applies, releases, and restructures through so many changing states. So the next one is called What Grew Apart. Broken cities and ghost towns in the world of the recesses of our hearts, the abandoned rooms of our mansions where our oneness has grown apart, the things we don't want to look at, the traumas we don't want to relive, the treasures that we hoard or the treasures that we give, that which changes daily, even if unrecognized, depending on what we contribute or don't, that which starves or that which thrives. Our awareness or our lack of it, the ghost towns we create, even in our most cherished relationships due to fear derived from hate, the jealousies we might not see from closing the doors to our hearts, and that moment when we reconnect with what once grew apart. Okay, so this one is called The Transmutation of Alchemy. Vigilantes of vindictiveness and vigilantes of unfolding truth, revelations of the seeker and the treasures we're all holding. Temples built on mountains for students of higher perspective, people as mirrors reflective, moving beyond all false directives. Codes written down in a codex thousands of years ago, handed down, hidden or destroyed, the wisdom initiates bestowed. Soothsayers, seers, and sorcerers, the knowing deep within, as they function from compassion beyond false realms of sin. The higher ground we all must gain upon the mountain of consciousness now aware, the cross 
we are no longer nailed to. After realizing the truth, we must now bear. Uh, this one's called Riddles and, and Parables. If love spoke in ancient riddles, what language would it speak? If parables were keys to other dimensions, what would you leave and what would you keep? If initiations make the warrior, what is your warrior's name? If the purity in you endeavors to speak, what color is its flame? If compassion is your superpower, how is it expressed? If mystery is a cloak you wear, in what color are you dressed? If you are a quiet mystic, in what ways do you rise above? If you remembered the most sacred part of you, did you discover it to be love? Okay, this next one is called Silence and Chaos. The beauty in the company of silence until an unexpected breeze blows chaos in and we must constantly reconstruct what is needed to become reacquainted with our grin. Certain people are inspiration like a door to a distant land where we open to learn and wonder and the gift of life feels even more grand. Charming is as charming does, where divine essence reveals itself, when hidden doors become known, where beautiful aspects dwell. The window of a secret journal, glimpses of the heart's desire, the way we might be barred by fear, but love shall always transpire. Uh, this one's called Autobiographies. Castles steeped in ancient code, no lack of knowledge can erode. Wisdom guides it through unknowing's cloud, clothed or stripped of ro woven shroud. The living word unrecognized, unspoken truths lost in disguise, beyond the veil where answers wait, a beloved and familiar gate, a mother's love to save them all, unexpected romance to enthrall, love affairs of different kinds, treasures appeal appearing we all find. An oaken door with hinges strong, swords drip with ink and angel's song. A healer's hands, compassion guides. Inner knowing directs a warrior's stride. An apothecary of the heart, sacred recipes set apart. Love's elixir, pure and true. The autobiographies of me and you. And I think this will be the last one. And it's called Kissed. They shall not be devoured by darkness. The lower consciousness that knows not the high. That jealous, wrathful energy that works to hinder you and I. Those who awaken to their spark of light are not targets for darkness to feed. Those who come to know themselves beyond false programming now are freed. A dark energy has permeated the world for far too long it seems, but the time has come for that to change, time for thought forms to be cleaned. They shall not be subjects of ignorance, even through, even though in amnesia they still exist. They shall rise back to the light of love, to the truth within which God has kissed. And that's all for this reading today. Thank you for listening.